I don't believe there's any cloud that hangs over me. I am not guilty of any criminal wrongdoing. I think there's nothing but sunshine hanging over me. I have done nothing wrong. The truth is I've done absolutely nothing wrong and I've done a lot of things right. I have on my side the most powerful ally there is. It's the truth that I am not guilty of any criminal wrongdoing. I am dying to show you how innocent I am. I'm going to continue to fight every step of the way. By the way, I should say, if anybody wants to tape my conversations, go right ahead. And those who uh, feel like they want to sneakily wear, uh, you know, taping devices, uh, kind of smells like uh, Nixon and Watergate. Political lynch mob. Been a political lynch mob. If I'd have known people were listening, I probably wouldn't have said some of the things that you say in private conversations. I am absolutely certain that I will be vindicated. I have the personal knowledge that I have not done anything wrong. I will fight this thing every step of the way. I will fight, fight, fight until I take my last breath. I'm not going to quit a job. I have no intention whatsoever of leaving the jo a job the people of Illinois elected me to uh, perform. The people hired me to do. This is about Roland Burris as a United States Senator, not about the governor who makes the appointment. Rudyard Kipling wrote, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you and make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating. It's kind of lonely right now. Yeah, so if I actually leave here, you won't follow me? Yeah, we're not as fast as you anyway. It's a pretty good pace. It's like eight and a half minutes. A mile and, you know, six and a half to eight miles, depending upon what but, the, Hang loose. Hang in there. I, I, I can't wait to talk to you guys. So we think it, it seems like the perfect time to finally say yes to my daughters who've been hounding me for the last several years for a puppy. And the House's action today was, of course, uh, not a surprise. It was a foregone conclusion and not something that uh, came as a complete surprise to me. Uh, I've been engaged in a struggle with the House to try to get things done for people, create anywhere from 500,000 to 750,000 jobs. A lot of senior citizens in Illinois have had the benefit of being able to afford their medicine and keep moms alive. The House is impeaching me for that. Omar Castillo got that surgery and will treat that cancer and then try to help save her life. If somehow that's impeachable, then uh, I'm on the wrong planet. Those of us who make the rules ought to be able to uh, follow a simple lesson that I was taught to believe in in Sunday school called the Golden Rule that you should do unto others as you would have others do unto you. The House stood in the way of that. Let me close by doing something that I probably won't do much after this, but I feel like doing it again. I want to quote another British poet. This poem by Tennyson, which goes like this. Though we are not now the strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and by fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Thank you.